Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another Sims 4 house building video. In today's video, I am so excited to be bringing you guys one of my favorite houses in all of television history, The House from American Dad, one of my all-time favorite cartoons from the absolutely insane mind of Seth MacFarlane, the creator of Family Guy. This is the home of the Smith family, who are an absolutely insane cast of characters. Um, there's the dad, Stan, the mom, Francine, and their two kids, Steve and Haley. And Haley's boyfriend kind of floats about. He sometimes lives with them, sometimes doesn't. His name is Jeff. And Klaus the alien, who lives in their attic. This is one of those houses that I've talked about for a long time. Maybe not talked about. I don't know if I've actually mentioned this particular one on my channel. But it's one that I've wanted to do for a very long time. And it was one I always thought that I would do after I built the house from Family Guy, the Griffin house. Which I did. It is on my channel. I don't know when I did it, probably like six or seven months ago now, maybe a bit more. But I had so much fun building that house, and I'm such a big fan of Family Guy, American Dad, The Cleveland Show, all of them. So I said, why not do this house? Aesthetically, it is very similar to the Griffin house from Family Guy. It is kind of a all-American, typical suburban house, or rather a all-American, in quotation marks, typical, in quotation marks, suburban house that you will find in a cartoon. Obviously, being based on a cartoon, this isn't the most perfect depiction of the house, like my version of it in The Sims. It's not perfect. It never is when I'm building from cartoons or from anything, really. It's really hard to get something unless it's a real house that is built on a strict one by one meter grid. <laughs> it is always going to be hard to translate something from real life or from a set or from a TV show or whatever into The Sims. It just never works perfectly, but I tried to get this one as close as possible. This one teeters a bit more on the side of reality compared to The Simpsons House or The Family Guy House that I've done before, um, but obviously it's not as realistic as something like The House from Shameless, which I've also done. With all that being said, I am really happy with how this house turned out. I definitely had to put kind of my own spin on it in certain parts, like the area between the living room and the kitchen. You don't really see in the show. Maybe you do in certain points, but it's one of those things that kind of changes a lot depending on what they need in the show. Um, there are certain things that I left out, like the basement, because the basement basically just changes episode by episode. So I figured I'll just leave it out. It's less work for me. Um, I also left out a bit of an oversight. This one I didn't do on purpose, but I did leave out Roger the Alien's attic space which is kind of like his bedroom slash where he gets up to a lot of his antics i think i called him klaus at the start of this video if i did i'll probably notice it in the editing klaus is the fish in the family who is also a former cia agent i believe he's like a man inside the body of a goldfish who lives in their house it's a very weird show if you haven't seen it you're gonna think i'm on crack or something um i would highly recommend it it's very funny not for kids but it's very funny but anyway, to cut that very long intro short, I was really excited about this house. I'm really happy with how it came out and I'm bringing it to you guys today. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Just to delve a little bit into where I've been slash what I've been doing slash why I have not been uploading. Um, I've had a pretty insane couple of months. So in my last video, if you saw it, you know that I was talking quite a bit about how I want to upload more regularly. I had some plans in place and that all went tits up uh, for a multitude of reasons. But one of the biggest ones was I think I was approaching making videos all wrong. I was kind of doing this thing where I would build the house, record the video, edit it, record audio, overdub it, find music, do all that stuff in one day. And I was burning myself out so much that it was driving me nuts and I didn't want to do it. So there would be these huge gaps between all of my videos. And I think I was just coming at it all wrong. So what I've done is I've kind of gone away, made a bit more of a plan. And I have a lot of videos lined up now. I have a lot that are partially recorded, that are fully recorded, that I just have to do the voiceover for, like this one, like a few others that I'm going to be doing right after this. Um, but I think basically what I want to do is have a bank of content and put it out one by one rather than thinking to myself, oh, I need to have a video on Saturday, so I'm going to spend all of Saturday making, recording, editing and uploading a video and 
in reality, post something that I'm not entirely happy with or that I've rushed or whatever just because I'm trying to meet these made-up deadlines that I'm making for myself. So <laughs> instead, what I'm doing is I'm bulk making all the content, enjoying the process and uploading them once that's all done. So my plan is I'm not going to upload any of these videos until I have at least four completely finished. So then while those four are going out over the space of three or four weeks, I'll be making new content. And my plan now is that videos will be ready in advance and I'll be catching up with myself. So there's always content going out and I'm always making new stuff. And I just think it's a way better way to approach making content um, because I was just burning myself out before and I just wasn't really enjoying it anymore and it was making me not enjoy playing The Sims and I was running out of ideas because I was trying to come up with all these ideas the day of and it was just really stupid. I don't know why I was approaching it that way but basically I've gone away, made a big long list and I'm slowly tipping through the list and I'm doing a mix of content from building houses from TV shows and movies or renovating existing houses i'm toying with the idea of doing some challenges like maybe attempting like a shell challenge or something like that um just trying to like diversify my content a bit and also just really focusing on getting regular uploads because i feel like now with this approach i'll be able to do that and i'm excited about it so that is the plan Let's see how long I stick to this plan, because if you've seen any of my videos, I swear in every one of them I come up with a quote-unquote new plan, and it always goes tits up, so we'll see. But anyway, that was a big long rant that probably no one really cares about, <laughs> but it's just a bit of an explanation to explain what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, whatever. Another reason why I had to take another bit of a extended break from uploading I had a lot of stuff on in the last couple of months. Um, I've been applying to universities. I'm trying to go to university to study acting. I used to be an actor when I was a kid, and I'm trying to get back into the industry somehow, but I've been out of it for many, many years. So I'm trying to go back to basics and get an education and approach it that way. So I had to devote a lot of my time to some auditions that I was doing. So I just physically didn't have the time to devote to thinking about YouTube. But now... My schedule has opened up a bit more while I'm waiting to hear back from these auditions. So I'm trying to fill my time again. And here we are. Also, in the time that I've been away, I believe I reached 400 subscribers, which is crazy. And thank you so much. I'm so, so excited about that. Um, I might have done it before my last video and I might have mentioned it there, but still it's crazy. Even when I'm not uploading for a couple of months, I'm still seeing new subscribers come in and new comments and things like that. And it makes me very very happy it is so reassuring to hear positive feedback and to see you guys enjoying the content that i'm putting out because yes i'm doing it kind of selfishly like i love just making videos and talking to myself in my wardrobe um that's where i record these audios sitting on my wardrobe floor but i also do love the interactive aspect of the sims community it's a very happy community on the internet for the most part from what i've seen anyway and from the comments that i've received on my channel so it's just very nice to hear those kind of comments from you guys so thank you so much and thank you so much for tuning in subscribing liking my videos sharing them with friends everything like that because it all really helps to motivate me to keep pushing out content because for whatever reason people are watching and that's really a really nice feeling so thank you for that um it's just really nice i really do appreciate it um as for the future uh, what kind of content I'm working on because like I've said I am working on content actively um, I've quite a few things in the pipeline I'm doing a mix of uh, houses from tv shows and movies and renovating the worlds as I'm calling it which is just taking existing worlds that ship with the sims 4 game and renovating them with some pack restrictions because a lot of my builds when I'm building from TV shows and movies, I don't restrict myself with packs. Um, and I have a lot of the packs and I'm very aware that I'm fortunate enough to have those. Um, but a lot of you guys don't necessarily have them and I want you to be able to download all of my builds and play with them. So I think a way that I can restrict myself a bit on what kind of packs I'm using is through the Building the World series. So for instance, my last video, I renovated the Pancake House 
and I restricted myself to only using a couple of packs. And my next video that I'm planning to release will be a new version of Don Lothario's house. And in that, I'm restricting myself again. Can't remember the exact packs. I should probably check that because I'm about to record the audio for that. But that's kind of my way of making my builds a bit more download friendly. Um, so if you pull it from the gallery you might have those three packs that i'm using for that specific builds instead of the 28 packs that i use to build the house from shameless or whatever in terms of houses from tv shows and movies i am working currently on the trixie motel uh trixie mattel if you know her she is a world famous drag queen she had a whole tv show where she bought and renovated a hotel uh, or a motel rather and I'm working on that build, and I'm currently working on the house from The Conjuring and the house from Toy Story 3, Bonnie's house, and the Amityville Horror House. I'm delving a bit more into stuff that I really enjoy, like horror, because, again, it kind of makes it more fun for me to build when I'm building something from a show or a movie that I really, really love. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing, and with that, I'm probably reaching the end of this video. I've been talking for far too long, so I'm going to have to edit this down quite a bit. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening to my bit of a rant. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for lots of new content coming very soon. And with that, I will leave you guys there. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you're watching this from. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.